वेलकम एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई क्लासेस होप यू आर एंजॉइंग इट एंड होप यू हैव सीन द वीडियो प्रीवियस इट ओके नाउ सो इन द फर्स्ट क्लास वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट वॉट इज ट्रिग्नोमेट्री एंड वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू यूज नाउ आई विल टेल यू अबाउट दिस ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक रेशियोज विच आई टोल्ड यू इन द लास्ट क्लास सो दिस सिक्स रेशियोज नाउ हियर सम पीपल थिंक दैट दे इट इज अ वेरी बिग टास्क टू रिमेंबर these trigonometric ratio but i'll tell you a very easy idea to remember it so that you don't have to learn it quickly you are going to remember it and in your exams you are going to crack all the problems with it now see so with this theta i just rub it okay so that triangle only i'm making here suppose this is a b c this is theta what was it can anyone answer what was this this was adjacent side with respect to this theta of course when the theta is different adjacent side will be different so that you have to keep in mind so this is adjacent side this one was opposite side and this one is hypotenuse okay this we have studied already so hope you all know it now how to remember those six trigonometric ratios how to define them i'll give you a very easy jargon here some people have curly brown hairs turned permanently black these are going to tell us about the trigonometric ratios so our topic is trigonometric ratios now okay so very important and very easy to remember the concept here is some people have some people have curly brown hairs turned permanently black isn't it easy to remember now what you have to do is you just have to focus on the first alphabets of each word i'm underlining it for you so first alphabet of each word what do we get from here so s refers to sin theta theta or we can say it as sin a also because this theta is at a so we can say sin a is p p gives us p by h p by this h p is what perpendicular or opposite side even can be known as perpendicular also everyone knows it right so sin a is perpendicular upon hypotenuse so where what is where is our uh, perpendicular here it is bc and hypotenuse is ab okay so sin a can be defined as bc by ab which is perpendicular upon hypotenuse now curly brown hair so it is gives us cos a and cos a is base upon hypotenuse base upon hypotenuse this adjacent side is also known as base okay so base upon hypotenuse so where is base base is ac and how where is hypotenuse it is ab again now here t t gives us tan a and p by b p by b means p by b means perpendicular upon base and these 
this 10 theta you are going to love this 10 theta because you are going to use it 100 times in your problems so this is p by b where is p perpendicular this is bc and where is base base is ac okay so see we have got all these three ratios and with these three ratios we can solve the given problems and we can find the height whatever we want now or i have told you about three more ratios what about that so cosec is reciprocal of sine you just have to remember this jargon and your task is sorted this cosec is equal to sine reciprocal of sine sec is reciprocal of cos and cot is reciprocal of 10 okay so one jargon can sort all the task of remembering all of these so cosec is 1 upon sin a so it will be reverse of it reciprocal of sin a it will become hypotenuse upon perpendicular similarly sec a is 1 upon cos a so reciprocal of cos a cos a is b by h so it will become h by b hypotenuse upon base cot a will become 1 upon 10 a 1 upon 10 a is p by b so it will become b by p see isn't it easy to remember all these trigonometric ratios in a single step okay so meet you in the next class with the values of these ratios and i will tell you one very interesting trick to remember these ratios how you can remember the ratios easily the values of these ratio and whole trigonometry will be sorted so till then bye bye keep reading keep enjoying bye see you in the next class